and this is part two of our video that we were doing on a vital necessity and we ended with saying that God comes and by his Holy Spirit he is so good to us that he will bring reminders into our day to help us usher us into those things that are best for us because God himself loves us and gives us those gifts to perform those works in our lives. How beautiful is that? And one thing that I wanted to get to because this is the thing that he was really uh, speaking to me along with all of that today in the um, Amplified Bible if you go to Jeremiah 29 11 which is <laughs> one of the most quoted I'll bet today uh, scriptures in the Bible Jeremiah 29 11 speaks of the children of Israel when they had gone into a 70 year captivity in Babylon because they walked away from God again forgot their God and got into trouble and gave you know when you're not walking with God you're walking outside of his best for you and God speaks to them in verse 10 and he says for thus says the Lord actually this is Jeremiah prophesying to them what what God was saying for thus says the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon I will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place for I know the thoughts that I think toward you says the Lord <laughs> thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end then hear this this is the part that we you know so many people for it they just chop it off right there and they don't read the rest of what's connected to that verse and what's connected to that verse is so important just like we said when you go out the door when you're going through your day there are certain things that you absolutely need to have with you in order to be able to function properly to perform things that you need to perform during that day you know moments before I came back to <laughs> finish up or to do part two here I well I was doing some of my fingernails and I don't know if any of you gals have ever uh, used any fingernail glue but that stuff is powerful and I mean I have stuck things <laughs> <laughs> it's for your fingernails <laughs> to stick to your fingers but I have stuck so many things together with that glue that were not intended to be stuck together and it was not a good thing and just moments before I came <laughs> to do the video I was putting a nail back in place and I got my fingers stuck to the table that I'm sitting at right now and the Lord just spoke to me and said, see, this is what happens <laughs> when you're glued to things that aren't the best for you and, and you leave off with the things that are best for you. And thank God once again for the Holy Spirit who comes along to quicken us, uh, to pull us to, you know, I like to sit, think of the fishing. I used to go fishing with my father when I was a little girl. And I always like to think of it, he's got to reel us back in, gals and guys. He's got to, <laughs> sometimes the Lord has to just reel us in. And I pray that you really ask him and give him permission to do that in your life. Because I'm telling you that through my 40 years of walking closely with him, that is one thing that I can say. He has been so faithful he knows my heart and he knows that bottom line no matter what's happening in my life and there are many times when God's will isn't what I want you know and it's not that it's bad 